Hello and welcome back to another end up other video. Today we are talking about Winter Storm Diaz, which is a cross country snowstorm which will be bringing Sierra Mountain snow to California, Rocky Mountain snow to Idaho and Utah, a Northern Plains blizzard, as well as a severe threat in the south, and then maybe even some impacts in the northeast. So, we're going to be breaking this down into multiple parts. This is going to be the western part, including the Sierra Nevada snow. We're going to be talking about the Rocky Mountain snow and some drought relief in portions of California. Later this week, we'll talk about the northern plains, the south, and the northeast. So, starting off here with the Weather Channel page, a winter storm will track from the west to the northern plains then into the northeast. Feet of snow will pile up in California Sierra. A northern plains blizzard is likely starting Monday. Snow is possible in the interior northeast later next week, but that forecast remains uncertain. This will be the first winter storm that will have impacts from coast to coast so far this season. It has been named Winter Storm Diaz by the Weather Channel. So here's the storm setup. You can see that the jet stream is very low in the west, allowing this low pressure system to move into California, and then up into the northern plains during the early part of next week. That also allows for colder air to seep all the way down into Arizona and New Mexico, which they will be getting some snow from this as well. So there are rates of three to five inches an hour in the Sierras already as I've been filming this. And we're going to be seeing snow, heavy snow, in the Sierra Nevadas Saturday and Sunday, moving into the Rocky Mountain region Sunday and Monday before moving out into the plains Monday into Tuesday. The Weather Channel is expecting over two feet of snow in the Sierra Nevadas and a healthy amount of snow in Idaho and Utah as well. Now let's take a look at our NWS hazards. So we are going to look at our NWS hazards here and we have Winter storm warnings in California, Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Oregon, Washington. Advisories in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, California, and Oregon. And watches in Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and the Northern Plains starting to tap into that as well. So, let's continue to move on. Here is the HRRR. Let's go over some timing of this storm. I'm gonna reload the page here just so we can get our latest. There we go. Let's take a quick rewind here back to the latest model runs. So, right now it is about nine o'clock when I am filming this. So, we are going to take a look here at what is currently going on. And you can see here heavy snow in the Sierras overnight tonight and then into tomorrow morning this is 5 a.m eastern time uh, we see some of the snowfall starting to leak into idaho nevada still some heavy snowfall in the sierra nevadas but that snow is starting to push inland and you can see here our low pressure system is actually out here and that is moving on shore of california then this is right around noon on Monday, we start to see some heavier snow amounts uh, starting to tally up here in Arizona, Utah, still seeing that snow in Washington, Oregon, California, as well as Idaho and Montana. But eventually this storm does start to leak into uh, New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming as well before it starts to impact the Great Plains. So here is our Projected winds, we're going to go to the latest model runs here. I'm going to reload the page. So over the next few hours here, we're going to be seeing some stronger winds along the coast of California, as well as in the upper elevations. Uh, some of the upper elevations could be seeing, you know, 25 knot sustained winds, which is close to 30 miles an hour. And along the coastline, as this low pressure makes landfall in northern California, we could see areas getting closer to those, you know, 15, 20 mile an hour winds 
along the coast before this storm leaks out into the plains where the front range of the Rockies could be seeing 30 mile an hour winds as well. And then obviously if we do have a blizzard in the northern plains, that is at least 30 mile an hour sustained winds. So let's take a look here at our projected precipitation totals. This includes rain, snow, sleet, you name it. So it looks like the Sierra Nevadas are the hotspot here with at least two inches of precipitation, mostly in the form of snow, but some areas seen closer to that three inch mark. But don't count out the coast of California as well, seeing at least an inch, if not two inches, in some spots before eventually we start to see uh, some of these totals start to move into the Rockies here with Idaho, portions of Oregon and Washington seeing at least an inch, portions of Nevada seeing at least an inch, the upper elevations of Utah and Arizona seeing at least an inch of precipitation there as well. Finally, we're going to look at three different methods of creating snow totals for this storm. Uh, so let's take a look here at the HRRR. This is just the model ratio. And you can see that in the Sierra Nevadas, some areas could be seeing close to 6-7 feet of snowfall. Now in portions of Oregon and Idaho, we could be seeing at least 2 feet of snowfall. Portions of Nevada seeing at least a foot of snowfall. And some other areas, including portions of Utah, Arizona, Colorado, could see at least a half a foot to a foot of snowfall as the storm continues to make its way towards the east. So let's zoom in here, starting off with the northwest. You can see that in these reds, that's at least a foot of snowfall. So we have areas of, I think this is not updated yet, but this was for the entire storm. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and especially the Sierra Nevadas. Really, you have to look at this yellow for the Sierra Nevadas. Let's actually look at that real quick. So the Sierra Nevadas, those yellows, that's at least four feet of snow. And then you have those reds, that's at least five feet. And we do have some areas in white that's at least six feet of snowfall. We also have the Weather Prediction Center, which is also showing those extreme snow amounts. So in these greens here, that is 0 to 6 inches of snowfall. You can see plenty of areas in that darker green that is 4 to 6 inches. Then we have these blues. The dark blues are 6 to 8 inches, but then those blues go all the way up to 15 inches. And if you see those pinks, that means at least 15 inches and up to 21 inches. That includes portions of Idaho. That includes portions of Northern California. But look at the Sierras. Those yellows represent at least four feet of snowfall. And this is just the 50th percentile. Look at how this map changes if we go up to the worst case scenario in terms of snowfall. Look at how expansive that yellow is. And look at some of these other areas, including Oregon, Idaho, Utah, seeing upwards of a half a foot to a foot of snowfall. But taking it the middle of the road, that is still a healthy amount of snowfall, especially for California. Uh, all this snow that they're seeing now is going to be a lot better for the drought situation there, especially as we go into the drier months next year. Hopefully that snowpack will still be very healthy in the region. So let's look ahead a little bit. Uh, after this storm system pushes through the Rockies and the Sierra Nevadas, this storm dumps out into the plains where we could have very heavy snow rates. Uh, those pinks are at least an inch an hour, if not two inches an hour of snowfall. And then we can start to see that move into the northeast where the European model is starting to kind of figure out if this is going to be either a uh, Great Lakes cutter where the, uh, I guess it's technically a inland or coastal runner, uh, a low pressure that's going to track right up the east coast, where the I-95 corridor will stay as rain, but inland, such as areas of central and western Pennsylvania, uh, upstate New York, portions of Vermont, New Hampshire, as well as Maine, 
getting higher snowfall totals instead of the main regions, including Boston, New York, Philadelphia. Really, right now, we're kind of in between either a Miller B nor'easter, which is where we have one low-pressure system in the Midwest, which weakens, and then another one that pops out along the East Coast and forms into a nor'easter impacting the I-95 corridor, or a low pressure in the northern plains weakening into a uh, coastal runner where we have more snowfall in the interior northeast so that is definitely something we got to iron out there that is for next weekend but what we know for sure right now potential blizzard in the northern plains as well as a lot of rocky mountain sierra nevada snowfall which is great for this time of year. Uh, a lot of these storm systems really don't start to develop until the spring. So getting this a lot earlier is definitely going to be beneficial, especially if La Nina does weaken. But we also have a severe weather threat. That'll be a whole separate video. Uh, the south is looking like a fairly strong and fairly well-predicted severe weather threat. So look forward to that in the next few days uh, i will have the whole breakdown of that severe weather threat as well but that is all the information that i have for today if you found this video informative consider leaving a like subscribing and hitting the bell that is all i have for today thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time